how do there, chums? Tis I, Couch Nova Steve's. And today, chums, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different with my time on this stream, this video. Yeah, I'm going to be looking to get the save editor for No Man's Sky because I want to unlock all of the words. Because after we've done the Artemis quest line, we're going to be doing the Atlas path. And I want to understand what the Atlas is saying. We already went to one Atlas station just by doing what we was doing. And yeah, I didn't understand any of it. So yeah, I've already done all the Atlas learning of words on my other save. So I want to save myself some time. So we're over on the Tinterwebs. You know, let's put myself over on the opposite side of the screen so you can see what I'm doing. Chicka pow! Right oh chum, so I'm over on the old Tinterwebs and you can see here that one of the top searches after searching for No Man's Sky save editor is Goat Fungus. Okay, so here we go. I've not clicked on this. I have no idea what I've got to do with it. Okay, No Man's Sky save it. it editor for interceptor well there's already been quite a lot of other updates after that so i'm um, hopefully this is the right one okay so save wizard latest version download the latest version i'm going to click there okay boom okay i've clicked it uh -huh. we've got a download and yeah i want to run that please it does say about there extracting a zip file, but that was that was fine. Don't run. I want more information. I'll run anyway. There we go. Hopefully this is the right blinking thing. You can only but hope. Aha! It's come up on my other screen. It says extract there. So I hit extract. Yep. Okay, the windows keep popping up on the other screen, but that was just a quick installation wizard. I think that's done it. I think that's it. Okay, now I don't know what this is called. I don't know whether this is called Goat Fungus or what. And it didn't come up with, do you want to open this application now? So I'm not too sure where I even find it. So bear with me, what people, and I'll find where that's freaking installed on my machine. Download the latest version, run the exe, extract the, yeah, into some empty folder somewhere. Run the bat file or the jar extension. All right. And uh, let's see if I can just browse to a desktop, All right? Make a new folder. Yeah, new folder on the desktop. That'd do. All right, extract there. Okay, so now if I go to my desktop and go to the new folder, there we go. Now I can see the bat file. I couldn't see it inside of my downloads. My downloads is a bit busy, isn't it? But here we go. Double click the bat file then. Hold on, there's two. Okay. It's now doing this. Look at that. It's like something out of the freaking Matrix. It's, there's a load of stuff saying not recognised, not recognised. Is that normal? All right. Well, this is a first for me, people. I'm learning as I go. You know, uh, while well, that's extracting, gonna have a little sip of my tea. This is the Captain Steve's brew. It's not inside one of my merch mugs. My merch mugs are both in the dishwasher. This is going on for a while, isn't it? Hmm. I'll tell you what, why that's going, let's have a look at the old readme text, shall we? Okay, save editor. To run this app, you must have Java 8 installed. Great! Didn't know that. Okay, Java downloads. Right, fine. Let's, uh, let's go there quickly then, shall we, people? All right. I'm going to keep this tab open, just in case I need it again. Java, here we go, accept all, and download Java. Did that download? It did download. Ah, there we go, and we'll run that then. Is that running? Probably not. Oh, here we go, it's popped up now. I'll just hit yes to that. Strange how it puts everything on my other monitor all the blinking time. I'll drag it over here, there we go and install and now we've got a java installation going on i guess maybe i need to stop this from running for now and we'll rerun that in a moment and we'll see if it looks a little bit more promising than denied 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 you know there we go. Ba -na 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 
I do love the music that I play on my channel. It's nice if you've got music that you actually enjoy yourself, isn't it? There you go. You've got Winamp there. It's a classic, but I can't find better. Winamp is the best. Ha! Prove me wrong. Let me know in the comments if you've got a better little jukebox. Right, okay, there we go. That's, um, that's done that. All right, fine. So back into here. Let's run the uh, bat file. Oh, on, let's just read the um, text again. Simply run the NMSA. Yep. Editor bat. Yeah, cool. If you notice, la, 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 dilly D. All right, okay, cool. Right, we'll run that then. Let's give it a go. Here we are. This looks a bit more interesting. Starting editor. Oh, hold on. What the actual flying fudge? We've got this popped up. And we've got another window popped up that I can't drag at the moment. Yeah, that must be my Captain Steve save. Open game. There we go. We're now inside of the game file editor. But for some reason, ah, game slot. Yeah, normal. That's it. That's, I've already got one game slot on there. All right. Am I being impatient with my clicking? I think I am. Let's just, um, okay, cool. All right. Milestones and reputation. Ah, cool. Okay. Words learned 20. Why can't I change that to like all words learned? I haven't watched a video on how to use this. This could be quite dangerous, to be honest, people, couldn't it? Yep, I'm going to have a little bit more of my tea. That's the tea finished. Okay, I don't want to naff up my um, my, my save file, if I can help it. Uh, I don't know how to change the words, which is a little bit... That's the whole reason I got this. All right, darn it. I can see Gek, Traders, Warriors, Explorers, Corvax. I can't see Atlas anyway. Atlas words. Atlas words. Oh, I can get all the glyphs though. Brilliant. We'll get all the glyphs then. We might as well get all the glyphs. Saves me hunting down travellers, doesn't it? We'll have all of those. Thank you very much. Aha. Atlas. Tick. What's that then? Is this the... Oh, known words. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Um, how do I click all of them at once? Hold on, let's make this full screen. That might help, might it? Learn all. Okay, go, go, go. I've hit learn all. Oh, it's doing something. Let's close these off for a second. There we are. I've just learned all words, people. That's all I really want to do. I've got all the glyphs and I've learned all the words. That's that's made me a very happy bunny. Okay, how do I then apply that to my save? Save changes. Is that it? Is that all I needed to do? Is that is that is that, that simple? Oh my dark god, people! Look, look at all these different things you can do, though. I got a pirate S class here. Nice. Cool. I haven't put a name in. Combat, exploration. You can change all your freaking stats. That's insane. Oh my days. This is craziness. I can't see here where you can just expand all your storage to max or anything like that. And I don't really know what I'm doing, but I think I've done enough. So you know what? We've hit this. We're going to save those changes then. I'm going to exit out of this um, editor now. And that's now saved. Okay. All right. I guess it's now time to jump into the game and see if that's actually done anything. I'll see you right, in the James. game. As well, I'm inside of game. Took a little while to load in, but I guess that's because it's sort of like clocking up all those words or something that I just learnt in a split freaking nanosecond. But yeah, coolio. So I've got my freighter build. I don't know whether you watched the actual live, but I, I did actually build out my freighter. I've got nutrient processors here. I still haven't chosen my plants to grow inside of here. Then over here, I've got all my terminuses for sending out missions. I've got more of a crew going on here now, which is lovely. And heading outside, I've got this big vast space. I've got like a little interview area over there. I've got my little captain's quarter at the back here. I've got another little news desk up there. But at the moment, it's a bit sparse. I didn't realise that I, you know, I haven't got a lot of Quicksilver. And a lot of the things that I want, I need to buy with Quicksilver. I need to run a load of Quicksilver missions. Now, yes, you are quite right. I could just go back into the save editor and give myself a load of freaking Quicksilver. But where's the fun in that? I want to earn something. So I'm going to run a few Quicksilver missions till I get bored of running Quicksilver missions on my PC save, which you're quite right. It could be quite quick, that. 
to be fair. Um, so I might just give myself some Quicksilver, but I want to feel that I've earned some before I go and do that. Oh, wow. I didn't notice that massive drape up there before. Cool, yeah. I think this sort of um, marking that's on this sort of panel over here, I think that's like the new sort of outlawry type one or something. Anyway, let's go into here and let's go over onto the old log and let's have a look at words learnt. How do I... Oh, yeah, it's under milestones, actually. Gek ally. How many words have I learnt? It still says words learnt. 20 of 50? I don't know whether that's actually applied then. Huh. Okay, what about my um my 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 lovely lovely glyphs? Have I got all the glyphs? Okay, how do I get into that now? Okay, collections catalogue, is it inside of here? No, collected knowledge, stories learnt, recipes, materials, technologies. Man Is it under here? There we go. Exotic goods perhaps? Nope. I don't know where they've put the blinking friggin's glyphs. You know, you either got them or you haven't, isn't it? You know? Oh, God. All right, where the fudge are they hiding? Ah, there we are. Just shows how much that... I haven't needed to look in here for freaking years. You know what I mean? I mean, you'd think they'll be there, because... Hmm. Oh, here we go. The Atlas portal glyphs. There we are. Ah, well, that's worked. So maybe I do know all the words, but it just hasn't registered. Maybe I need to go and talk to an individual or something before it actually, you know, tallies up that I've learned all the words. Let's just fly to a station and let's just go talk to a random individual, shall we? And we'll see if it jumps my word count up to learn to everything. Okay. There's a station right behind me. Cool. I was worried I might be in a pirate system then for a second, people. I think you can still wor learn words in a pirate system. Okay, no, I'm not going to move on with the story. That's going to be in the next episode. This is just about the save editor and whether it's useful. We've managed to get all the glyphs, so that's useful. But the whole reason I got the save editor was to learn all the languages as quickly as possible. So we'll see if talking to an individual in here moves that on a tad. Okay. Hopefully I haven't already spoken to all the individuals inside of here. What have we got? Is this Viking? It looks like it's a predominantly Viking. Hopefully there's going to be one Gek or one Corvax up here as well. There's a Gek, definitely. Hello there, chap. Yes. Oh, look. It's all red. I know it all. I know all of that verse anyway. So it looks like we do know it. And it says here, dialect already learnt. The only thing is it's not showing my totals inside of the game. So it's a little bit yeah, sketchy, isn't it? What I could do is unlearn one word from each of the races, then go speak to these guys. They'll teach me that word, and then maybe it might tally up that I've learnt it all. I don't know. I might have to have a little play if I really want it to look decent inside a game. But you know what? That still achieves what I'm after, doesn't it? It achieves what I'm after in the way that I can now understand what everyone's got to say. Now that I've spoken to this guy and it's registered in game that I know all the words, and I've spoken to the Gek now, there you go, and it's registered that I know all the words, I wonder if going inside of here and going in there, no, it still says 20 or 50 words learn. So, you know, this milestone now is going to be bugged if I don't do something about that. That's the problem with using save editors, is you don't know how it's going to affect your rewards, your milestones, all that sort of stuff. Now, I'm not really bothered. I've already platinumed them this on my PlayStation 5. I'm not bothered about on PC. As you can tell, I keep swapping the game mode from normal to creative. I don't care about the rewards here. This is all about just doing the Atlas path for me and seeing how it's changed and having this save aligned to the Atlantid where my PlayStation 5 save is going to be aligned to the Atlas. So if there are ever, like, factions introduced or rewards that are going to be specific to the Atlantid or rewards that are linked to the Atlas, at least I can showcase both. That's the whole point of this. So now we've got all the words, we can test the um, the Atlas words to see if we've got those as well as and when the time comes, which I'm sure it will. Yeah, but for now I'm going to be pressing on with the Artemis questline. So I think that's a good enough test anyway. I'm going to jump in my ship, out of my ship, just make sure that I've got an autosave on 
Now that I've learnt all the words, I might as well get rid of the mods for learning words that little bit quicker. Might as well get rid of those. Um, I'm going to leave on the mod with the, the pulse, sort of like less lines, because that's a lot nicer. I'm going to leave on the Daplicus mod. However, I've had people out there inside of the Viewerverse tell me that the Daplicus mod no longer works. The Daplicus mod is the, the one with the big majestic Diplos. Apparently, Hello Games has now removed the E3 folder that that big Daplicus model sat in. So although the, the mod is running, it's trying to put the Daplicus on the planet. It would just probably put in a blank space there. I might see a little dot hovering around. But right now, that model has vanished from inside of all the game folders. So and it's probably not going to work, people, inside the universe, which is a little bit of a shame, isn't it? It really is. It's a total shame, yes. The Daplicus is not in there. It's not in there anymore, people. It's gone diddly and gone. I guess it is. Anyways, so that's, that's pretty much everything I've got for you, really, because this was just to show the save editor in action. So, people in the view of us, I hope this has helped you. If you want to, you know, get into um, putting in a save editor uh, to unlock all the words. But like I say, it is a little bit janky, or it seems to be for me anyway. That seems to be a little bit twitchy. But at least I can do the Atlas path now. We can read the law together and we can understand and discern exactly what the Atlas has to say as we do the Atlas path. And then we moved on to the Atlas Eternal, which is the new quest line of where you can actually select where you want to place your allegiance. And like I say... I'm going to align my PC saved to the Atlantid. So hopefully that's going to give us something new to look at on my channel. Um, on my channel, something new that's coming on the 22nd of March. So not long now, people, is Dragon's Dogma 2. And I'm thinking of putting that in on the Mondays and the Tuesdays in sort of like my premiere or live sort of element to my channel. Still doing No Man's Sky on the Friday and still doing No Man's Sky videos a little bit like this and pressing on with my PC save in between Dragon's Dogma type elements. Now, I'm a massive fan of the original Dragon's Dogma. Dragon's Dogma came out around the same time as Skyrim, and I chose Dragon's Dogma over Skyrim, mainly because it's Capcom. You can climb all over the creatures, which is a bit like Shadow of the Colossus, one of my other favourite games. I've got playlists on Dragon's Dogma 1, and I've also got a playlist on Shadow of the Colossus, the remastered version, and both of those playlists, I hope you hit them up, they're amazing, but Dragon's Dogma, essentially, because I'm bringing Dragon's Dogma 2 to the channel. If you've never seen Dragon's Dogma, it's got Greek mythological type creatures. Think of Jason and the Argonauts and Sinbad, those like stop frame animation type movies that you watched as a kid. And think of that being a computer video game. That's Dragon's Dogma. That's pretty much it. It's it's amazing. It really is amazing. I love Dragon's Dogma 1. I can't wait for Dragon's Dogma 2. I am thoroughly excited for this one. And uh, yeah, I platinumed, platinum Dragon's Dogma 1. And some people say that's as hard as one of those soft games, you know, like, you know, Bloodborne or Elden Ring. I've also clocked Elden Ring. I didn't platinum in it, but I've beaten all the bosses in Elden Ring. Will I get the Elden Ring DLC? I have to see. It's rather expensive. I just don't know how big it is. Is it worth... Do you get enough hours for your buck, basically? Well, I want to see what people think of it when it drops. Well, you know, they're going to smash all the content out and there might not be anything for little on me. But you know me, I, I'm not a good gamer. I'm not a great gamer. I sort of bumble my way through and by luck and happen chance, I beat a game like Elden Ring. It happened. Yes, I made myself a red shiny demon guy. Also made a red shiny demon guy in Dragon's Dogma 1 as my pawn. But anyway... Hopefully that's given you enough to go and look for my playlist on Elden Ring, Dragon's Dogma and Shadow of the Colossus. All content you could be watching on my channel other than No Man's Sky. And obviously I've got my Omega playlist for No Man's Sky, which is everything that's happened in No Man's Sky since Omega dropped. And there's swathes of content there for you as well, people. Anyway, cheery bye. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Salute Mondo, people in the viewers. Take care. Bye bye.